Here is a Vasco fin. This is a Type 21B, number 712113156, made in China. Combustion blower. This is for my pellet stove. It's one of three motors that the stove has. And I don't know anything about the age or the hours on that stove, so I figured I better just buy all the motors and have them on hand in case one of them gives out. I can just swap it in. The motors in the stove itself right now are Fasco, and I was kind of surprised to be able to find allegedly real Fasco parts. I mean, these motors could be made by Ching Chong Motors and then they stuck the Fasco sticker on there. I don't know. I'm hoping that that's not the case. It seems like it's pretty decent quality. It's Class B, so it's good for up to 130 degrees Celsius or 266, I think, Fahrenheit. And it's a sealed ball bearing, which kind of stinks because if it wasn't like pressed together you could just replace the bearings the one I have in there now the bearings are going bad and they're very uh... they make like tinging sounds it's constant um, so that motor eventually is, is going to give out but I thought oh I'll just replace the bearings but I don't think that these are designed such that you can do that which kind of stinks because the windings it's just a basic shaded pole motor. It's going to last for decades, but if the bearings go out, then that's that. The windings look like they're very good quality. Pretty thick gauge. Um, you know, nicely tied together. It's, got, it's a self-cooled motor. There's the cooling, the motor cooling fan there. And I think it, it draws the air away from the motor, probably to push the heat you know back away from the motor and this is what the impeller looked like I think it spins this way it's very smooth because it's ball bearing it's 3000 rpm but does not indicate the uh, rotation so it looks like it is a, is it a four pole motor or two no it's a two pole motor 3000 rpm two pole motor this is interesting to see something so basic and well made still still in production to this day I'm not certain but I think that that might be a uh, thermal switch in there it doesn't make any note of thermal protection so I can't imagine it's not it's not thermal protected at this point unless it's impedance but I, I highly doubt it I'm sure it's thermal anyways so uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in Hopefully it doesn't go spinning off the table because the wire is just haphazardly connected. I don't think it would have too much torque. It's just a shaded pole. I'm going to have videos of all three of these motors I got because I want to check on to make sure they work. Because they're not going to be super useful if I have a failure and I go use it and I find out it doesn't work. Not that they'd be useful now if they don't work, but at least I could return them. factor of 0.66 and it is spinning around the table so I'm going to shut it off but uh, alright that works fine it's the airflow noise is much louder than uh, the one I have in the stove now but this is much quieter in terms of the bearings I don't remember if if uh, if the one in there is 3000 or 1650 RPM I think the the heat exchanger blower is only 1650 maybe this the heat the um, combustion is 3000 this does not appear to have any kind of a startup sound I'm not sure if that's because it's not mounted to the metal frame of the stove but the the uh, combustion blower on the stove now 
has a really cool startup zone. Of course, you'll never hear it because it's stinking so cold in this weather that you can't shut the stove off. But anyways, all right. So the the combustion blower checks out. I'll put this in the box of spare parts, and we'll test the next motors over the next couple weeks.